Hello, here we are on the boat. Well, woke up this morning, it was a bit overcast and a bit nippy, so I thought, oh, poppled off to the hairdressers as normal. Went and saw my granddaughter, because I didn't see her last week, because I was on jury service all week, which was quite harrowing, too, I must admit. Uh, and then I thought, why are we not on the boat? <laughs> the sun came out. The it got sun really came hot. out. I thought, why are we not on the boat? So I left my daughters and I says, phone your, text your dad and tell him we're going out on the boat and to get ready. Got home and quick, said, quick, quick lunch. Quick drive to Hinkley. Quick drive here. And we're here about, we are. It was about two and a bit hours, wasn't it, where we are now? Two hours. So we used to be, used to be more so much nearer where we were, but... Um, you know, you get sick of doing the same place. Two hours in the car, oh, two and a half weeks in the boat to get here. Three weeks nearly it was, yeah. yeah. And we're on the beautiful Ashby Canal. So we've got here, we've got done about an hour on the boat. That's all we want to do. We're not in a rush to get anywhere. We're just having a lovely weekend. And we're as a said, potter. What's it for? Bank holiday weekend as well. So we've got an extra day. So now we're going to go a little walk and enjoy the countryside. It's very noisy here, them birds, they're half chattering away. It's lovely. I'll give you a little uh, panorama view, we'll show you where we are, and then we'll go a little walk. One minute. So this is our location. There's lovely Ashby. There's my lovely wife. <laughs> and uh, there's some, you can probably see some little horses. They're Shetlands, aren't they? Yeah. Some Shetlands, a little tiny Shetland pony. Ponies. There's a horse there. There's one behind. There's a heron. One behind this bush, a couple of herons, geese, Canada geese, and if we hen. carry on round, obviously here's our boat and uh, trees and some boat uh, boats More moored up. Blue sky. It is indeed. Big yellow thing in it. <laughs> so we're off for a walk now. Are you ready? Let's go. Well, here we are this morning. It was quite an odd sight. See all those geese in the water. Um, there was a whole field full of geese there. And they all, just suddenly, one after another, came along in a row, jumped into the water, you can see these ones following, and off they're going down there. And last night, uh, as it got, started to get darker, exactly the same thing in the opposite direction. All the geese came out of that field, and then swam up, up the Ashby. And then returned this morning, and all off again. How strange. Meanwhile, these little ducks came to the duck hatch this morning. I gave them a few cornflakes. What a lovely place. So, so nice. Look at those geese now. So many of them. I mean, you can see that well in the shade. Well, we're set off. So we, Linda's sitting at the front enjoying a beautiful view. Uh, I think she might come and join me in just a minute. And um, nice way to start me Ashby, we're heading for Shackleston. Ah, oh, here she is. Come and join me, sweetheart. Well, the sun just coming out, isn't it? The sun is coming out to play, most certainly is. It wasn't cold last night, but the um, sun just come out. I mean, it was out early, a bit of cloud. But it's a really pleasant day. Hopefully I'll be in my t-shirt or short sleeve shirt later. Ready, am. It's a little like you to have some warm one. I know, I'm a bit hot actually. I've only just put it on and I'm a bit hot already. That's better. So we're just going to go for a potter along. If I see anything superb, like some of the views, I'll do a bit of filming. But otherwise, we're just going to enjoy ourselves and then get to Shackerston. And I'm hoping... Did you know what's at Shackerston? This railway, and it's a steam railway, so we're hoping the steam is on and not the diesel. Cause because we did... We may... Well, we definitely will be going on the train. We will. Because we came up here in the summer uh, and I wanted to go on then. I mean, I, I went on there years ago, so we used to live around here. But um, I don't know if you remember in the summer, Mum was ill and we were rushing to get back, weren't we? So we just did the Ashby up to the end and back. Thoroughly enjoyed it, but didn't have a chance to stop and enjoy ourselves. Whereas today uh, we're going to stop overnight at Shackerston and I don't know, might find a little train running, who can tell? It's bank holiday weekend, what do you reckon? It's actually the steam train running. Uh, I know, it might be Thomas the Tank Engine Express. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Anyway, you'll see when we get there, same as us. So we're approaching Market Bosworth now. Uh, we're not going to stop there. We stopped there last time, moored up near there. It's about half a mile walk into the town. Um, but we're going to come through it on the train if all goes well. 
Uh, we're about an hour, no, three quarters an hour from Shaka or something. But it's so pleasant. Um, you can probably see around me, countryside everywhere. So we're um, gone through Bosworth, we're now well on the way to uh, Shackerston, I think about half an hour away, um, maybe a tiny bit more, I'm not too sure. Uh, it really is beautiful all the way, um, and if I just twiddle the camera around you can sort of see the kind of sights we get in as we approach Bridge 46. So here we go, turn it around. But um, we're very nearly there now. After that bridge ahead, uh, we'll be finding a mooring, um, about a quarter of a mile, I think, half a mile. But yeah, the countryside is just stunning. Absolutely, really. I know I it's keep the saying it. It's the best time of the year. Everything is just converging. So nice. Well, we've moored up and we're in a slight rush because the next train leaves in about 10-15 minutes so we've got to go over this bridge and up there to the station hope we catch it well we made it to the station and uh, we had to get here for 2.30 and I met Linda Rush at lunch and I said come on come on come on get the house in her we got to get there we got to get there and we sort of rushed here for got here about 2.20 2.25 and I'd read the timetable wrong it's 3.30 Linda's walked off to the shops, not very happy to see what she can see. Hey ho, I'm having a great time though. Anyway, I'll show you around. So here we are, Shackerston Steam Railway. It's six miles long now. The battlefield lines it's called, goes to Market Posworth. That's the Battle of Bosworth site, very close. Beautiful little villages. And um, on to Shenton, where there's a lovely craft centre and loads of stuff. So, uh, can't wait. We've been pulled by diesel today, there's steam trains out of action, but uh, yeah, it's going to be enjoyable. So this is the view from the other end of the station, isn't it lovely? So picturesque. And down here are the locos. Is that a class 31, 33 down the bottom? Not fully sure what we've got. Apparently they're out of steam at the moment. It's just old diesels, but I like the old diesels. And we're supposed to be pulled by class 20 today. Can't wait. So here we are, class 20. It's pulled in. It's going to be taking us. 2087. So the rubbish load goes back in the day. Kept breaking down. Apparently this one still does. Then are looking not overly impressed. So here's the loco swapping ends. You can just see it there. And uh, I get sadly excited at this. So it's uh, pulled down the other end, uh, dis um, disconnects itself, come back past the carriages, and now it's gone on there, and it's about to go onto the points, uh, through the points, and join up on this end. Exciting, huh? So good morning. Um, it's Bank Holiday Monday, so. Bye. I'm the captain, I do the talking, that's what you always say. Oh, go on. Anyway, then. it's Bank Holiday <laughs> Monday, it's windy, cold, typical Bank Holiday. Oh, I've had to put my coat on this morning and that's saying something. It's fine, isn't it, really? Yep, but it's still very, very, very nice to be out here. But we had a lovely night last night. Imagine, it's, there's not much um, Wi Fi signal, but not Wi Fi, uh, 4G signal around here. But we managed to um, just watch a couple of TV programs we like. Um, and apart from that, read, read a book. Read a book. And it was really nice stuff, really. Hey. So, heading back now. Oh. Ooh, through a lot, the tunnel. A lot of bridges, isn't there? Bridges, yeah. Bridge 48. A lot of bridges on the Ashby. It's twisty and windy, as you know. But the nice lovely. bridges, they're all nice uh, brick ones. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, onward and. Not upwards upward. and upwards. <laughs> That's because I'm upwards and upwards. But I'm, I'm going upwards. I'm not that good a right uh, steerer. So this is Bridge 44, which is the Congestion Road. Um, sorry, Carlton Road. And that used to way to my house where my parents lived apart in the Beans, just up the road. I must have been over that a thousand times or more. And me. And, uh, 
probably be more because when I used to work in Birmingham, that was my road ho home when I was staying with them. Oh, well, that would have been fun. Get back to safety. <laughs> and as you can see, it's got a wind. You can see on Linda's hair, the wind blowing. <laughs> it is windy, isn't it, though? Very. And it's a cold wind. And it's blowing a boat around, makes it steering a bit harder. Just come through Bridge 40. Linda's doing the uh, helms work today. In fact, the only bit she didn't do when she went to the loo. Yeah, yeah. There was a, a boat yeah, come yeah. through a narrow bit. There was two of the boats coming the other way. There was a collision. It was a uh, really hard work. So you judge that well. Anyway, I so, didn't hear a thing. Yeah. Anyway, You're just talking rubbish. Um, sun's come out. For a it's second. Still cold, but it did not feel different. But yeah, there's has got the next, next bridge not far. Lovely, 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 beautiful canal. I mean, that bridge 40 is nice. There's another bridge on its way up. Yeah. And sheep in the field. I love seeing sheep. I reckon it's warmed animals. up 10 degrees since that sun came out. It was freezing. It's because I've, I've certainly warmed up about 20 degrees, but that's because I've put a proper coat on yeah. instead of just that thin little wind cheater. It was very windy back there. Yeah. Oh well. Oh. Nearly at so we're going to stop at Sutton Cheney Wharf to meet some friends. Have a drink. Have a drink, something to eat. Then crack on to Hinkley. That's about another three quarts now, we think, don't we? Think so. Not really sure. Who cares? <laughs> Canal time. Hey, the sun's come out to play. It certainly has, hasn't it? Lovely. Lovely now. Much nicer. It's still a bit of a cold wind. But sunshine. Better than it was. We've just gone past Sutton Cheney Wharf where we stopped for lunch, met some friends. And a nice chin wag. And uh, yeah, it's really nice talking to our friends. Um, not long now till Hinkley, about an hour, isn't it? I don't know, I haven't looked at the map. Yeah, something like that. So the views continue to be absolutely stunning on the Ashby. I mean, look at that. So nice. A bit now, can't you, Linda, the wind again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It's a, <laughs> yeah, blows now. It does. It's a window meter. But um, I can see why boats are moored up here. Beautiful, uh, beautiful views. Stoke Golden Village is just up the road. We're about to get there. Fantastic pubs there. We're about to go into the side. We're about to go into the side because I'm not watching where I'm going. Perfect weekend. Just Indeed. really, really lovely and relaxing. Yeah, it's nice just having a couple of days, isn't it? Yeah, super. It's perfect. Lovely to get back on your little bill. Well, that was a fun weekend, wasn't it, Linda? Yep, perfect little weekend. I had a couple of, well, two nights out, three nights, no. Two nights out. We came Saturday afternoon and it's Bank Holiday Monday, so we're leaving Monday evening. So, two perfect days on the cut. So, up to uh, Shackerstone, had a wonderful time, and it was, uh, weather was indifferent, but we, we loved it. Yeah. Weather, Saturday perfect, weather sun Sunday, very nice, but this morning, very windy and cold. And but it turned out to be lovely in the afternoon, so that was really good. And this is what boat ownership's about now for us. We spent all that DIY, all that time doing that, and now we just come up and enjoy ourselves. So, so good. Anyway, we had a lovely weekend, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed our short vlog. And what should we do if you've enjoyed it, Linda? Press like. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. I forgot my lines. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next week, folks. Bye. Bye.